ASEAN member states met over the weekend and reached an agreement to stop violence and resolve the crisis in Myanmar. But the country's military continues to exert brutal force against the civilians. Pro-democracy activists have slammed the ASEAN junta agreement, saying nothing has changed since the summit. Che Minjiang reports. The military's brutal crackdown against civilians continues even after the leaders of ASEAN reached consensus with Myanmar's military leader over the ending of violence in the country. Leaders in Southeast Asia met last Saturday with Myanmar's military general Min Aung Lang and discussed an immediate end to violence in the wake of the February coup. However, even on the day of the summit, protesters were shot and killed in Mandalay and Nyepida. Citizens took to Twitter saying that the junta shot everyone they saw while the world's media was giving attention to the military chief attending the ASEAN summit. Arrests and shootings by the military continued throughout the weekend. A man was also shot two days after the summit. Pro-democracy activists have slammed the ASEAN junta agreement for its inability to reflect the voice of Myanmar citizens. The agreement has also been criticized for omitting the release of political prisoners, including the detained civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi, and also for lacking a specific timeline for halting the turmoil. The Assistance Association for Political Prisoners also raised questions on the effectiveness of the recent summit, saying that nothing has changed after the conference. A small crowd took to the streets on Sunday to denounce the consensus reached by the two sides, and many have vowed to continue protests until the military steps down. According to the AAPP, a total of 753 people have been killed by the junta as of Monday, with nearly 3,500 people arrested. Che Min Dong, Arirang News.